Hello everybody, this is Scott from Nostalgic Nightmares and thank you for tuning in. In my new channel I am going to be reviewing various series of books that I used to read as a kid. Uh, reading was always a massive part of my childhood and I used to read all the Goosebumps, all the Animorphs, Shivers, Creatures, Creepers, Fear Street, Point Horror, tons of series. I'm not going to go into it all right now, I'll probably do another video at another time. But as you can see the series that I'm going to start with is Shivers. Uh, the reason that I chose this series is because there's a couple of other people on YouTube who are adults reviewing kind of Goosebumps books that they read as a kid and I really enjoy watching them but I want to do something slightly different so while I am going to do Goosebumps at some point I'm starting with Shivers because I haven't seen anybody else on YouTube do it there are a few videos of people who read out their top 10 Shivers books and that's about it and another reason is these books have been sat on my shelf since I was a kid just gathering dust they're not really doing anything and I don't really remember much about them whereas Goosebumps I read a couple of times, I watched the TV show, played the board games, and all that kind of stuff. Shivers I didn't, they just kind of read them and then they sat on a shelf. So I've kind of forgotten a lot about them. There are 36 books in the Shivers series by M.D. Spencer. And they were released from 1996 to 1998 I believe. At least that's what Wikipedia tells me. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it's a 36 book series, there's only one sequel in the series which is quite interesting. Uh, I'm not sure about the numbers right now, but I think number 8 is called Terror on Troll Mountain. And then one of the later ones, maybe the late 20s, is called Shriek Home Chicago. And those two follow on from each other. But apart from that, every other book in the series is a standalone book. I've got a few memories of a couple of different books in the series. I remember The Animal Rebellion, in particular, is the one that just kind of stands out in my mind. is one that I remember much about. I remember loving the concept of animals attacking people. I find that quite spooky. I remember reading Watch Em Kill. I think that's about little animals or little monsters that you put in water and they grow up, I think. And the Terrible Terror book I remember reading and enjoying. That's something to do with like a book that comes to life or it's a book within a book, within a book, within a book. <laughs> I can't remember exactly. But other than those three, there's only that's really all that I can remember about the series, which is not a reflection on the series itself. I remember really enjoying them. So, no offence to M.D. Spencer, that I don't remember much about them. That's not an insult to him. I know the, the books are... Uh, the books are... I can't even talk. <laughs> the books are a little bit shorter than Goosebumps. The chapters are shorter. The, book, the pages are smaller. So, I don't think it's going to take me as long to read them. But I'm really excited because... Reading these books as a kid gave me a massive comfort blanket. And like I say, I'll do another video about that. So, reading these with new eyes and... Particularly ones that I don't remember anything about, I think would be a nice experience. And I think it'll be uh, interesting to see if books that you read as a kid are still good as an adult. So yeah, if you've read Shivers, let me know, give me a comment. And tell me what your favourite ones are, which ones you don't like, which ones you do. Um, I'm not sure how these reviews are going to go, I've never done it before. So the first couple might be a little bit rough around the edges until I get into my groove. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know which one I'm going to start with. I'm going to put all the names in a hat, I think, uh, or into a little box on pieces of paper, shuffle it around, pick one out at random, um, and read that one. I don't particularly like reading books in order, unless they're actually chronologically meant to be read in order, just because I think it's slightly more interesting to kind of jump around a bit, read like one about ghosts, and one about zombies, and one about vampires. And I know they, they try and release them so that they're all kind of different, but I just think, at least at this way, it's a nice random choice. You don't know what's coming. If you've read Shivers, let me know what you think of the series. My first review should hopefully be up soon. I think it might be up uploaded the same day as this. Um, I'll probably record this and leave it sat on my computer until I've read the first one that I'm going to read and then get them sent, uploaded straight away just because it makes things easier for for me, really. Um, so, yeah, thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope you listen to the reviews and enjoy them. Let me know what you think. It's Shivers, Andy Spencer. Here we go. Thank you.